Welcome, fellow CompTIA enthusiasts. By now, you know that the clock is ticking. The 220-801 and 220-802 CompTIA a exams are due to expire soon. CompTIA has announced that the new exams, 220-901 and 902, will roll out in the fourth quarter of 2014. And if CompTIA holds true to form, you will only have six months to pass the current exams before they're gone for good. So, should you take the old exams or wait and take the new ones? My advice to you is certification is certification. Take the current exam now, get certified now, put A plus certified on your resume. Nobody's going to care which exam you took. You can study for the 901 and 902 exams after you land your dream job. As of the date of this posting, the 901 and 902 exams are not available yet. But believe me, these exams are not getting any easier. And you can expect many more performance-based questions on the next exams. I'm going to click over to my simulator here. The performance-based questions are the wave of the future. And I've got all of them. Uh, like I said, I've got the best interface of anybody. And we're going to look at that in a minute. Uh, you want to take the existing exams while we still know all the answers. It's going to take time for people to take the new exams and report what's on them. It's in your best interest to pass the exam now. I'm going to use my new exam simulator to generate the questions and show the answers. Uh, and in this video, this code will randomly generate questions from the A-plus Essentials exam number 220801 objective, identify connector types and associated cables. We'll get to performance based in a second. Now keep in mind that this is not a brain dump. I'm not giving you the minimum amount of information you need to pass the exams. It's a complete education. There's just as much legacy equipment out there as there is new equipment. And this simulator will prepare you for just about anything that you might encounter in the field. That's why there are nearly 4,000 questions in the a simulator alone. This sim covers everything. My net plus simulator that you get free along with the a simulator has about another thousand questions in it. And there's a couple of sections in there that you're going to want to make sure you know because there's a lot more networking on the a plus exam these days and there's uh, things that you're going to need to know before you take the exam now for these demos i've created a special abbreviated database uh, due to time constraints i've taken the original 61 question uh, database for this particular objective and reduced it down to just uh, a few questions. There's tons of information available on my eBay site that you can check out by clicking on the link below. There's plenty of links there that will get you to the comptia.org screens and other sites for more information on things like spaced repetition and you really need to know about computer adaptive testing. That's what the real CompTIA exams are. No one ever gets the same test twice. The exam is going to change depending upon how you answer each question. Uh, right now, I'm going to just run the code in the normal mode. Right here shows we're normal. Uh, it's, that's simply where it's going to ask you questions, and we click on the answers. I'm going to skip past the flash mode. Uh, the flash mode basically turns the program into a game. You set the timers and see if you can answer the questions before the screens change. And I'm not going to spend any time looking at the uh, auto mode either. Uh, but basically, you set the questions for the uh, you set the timers for the questions and the answers, and the program will stream the information by it by itself. You can set the questions to 
for 30 seconds and you could you could be doing just about anything I like to play online poker you could you could be studying and playing poker at the same time you hear the tone you glance at the question you go back to your game you make sure you know the answer you rattle around the answer in your brain when you hear the tone the answer is going to show up on the screen you glance and make sure that you've got the correct answer and then it's going to beep and it's going to go to the next question um, you can also uh, set the repeat you can turn the repeat on and you can have that run just as long as you, you would like but I'm going to take uh, all these modes off and we're going to go over here and uh, for the text based and the uh, graphics questions the correct answers light up in green the incorrect answers light up in red we're going to look at an example of this the HDMI type A connector I think we're all pretty familiar with that anyone who has an HDMI TV these days is going to have one now if you select a wrong answer this new rationale field is going to show you uh, it's going to give you more information. There's not much here on the graphic screens. It's just going to tell you what it is. But if you were on some of the other uh, objectives where it was asking you uh, a question with several different answers, it's going to give you more information on whether why why your answer was uh, a right or wrong. But uh, let's keep going here. Um, we're going to go just look at a few more the component connectors, the RCA connectors, and the Type B. If you've ever uh, plugged in a USB printer, you'll be familiar familiar with the USB Type B plug. Uh, you're going to get your score. You can go back to the main menu. You can look at your history. You can see that uh, I've sorted this in descending order by time and date, which puts my most recent exam on the top of the list. Uh, that's the way I like that list sorted. Uh, you can uh, also, you've got complete control of your database. You can go in there and you can look at any any question in the database that you would like. You can edit questions, delete questions, add new questions, and it's got a hint field to where you can add a hint that you can uh, optionally look at on any question you've got. And I guarantee you after you uh, have looked at the hint for a couple times, if you needed to look at a hint on one of uh, your questions, you're only going to need it a couple times before you won't need to look at that hint anymore. And like I say, it's optional to look at whether you want to see it or not on the questions. But let's get uh, to the performance-based questions here real quick. Actually, I've included many more choices in my program than you will get on the real exams. Uh, we'll look at that in a moment. Uh, for the matching questions, you simply drag and drop the items into the correct box. For the command line questions, you simply drag and drop the correct commands into the drop boxes in the correct order. And rather than type the commands on the screen like you're going to do on the real exam, you're just going to drag and drop the commands. I didn't want to try to uh, write a program that's going to interpret everything you type. This is what you're uh, you're going to type these commands. Uh, let's just go through this real quick. Uh, this would be the command that you would type. Let's let's start from the beginning here. You're on a Windows 7 machine, you're going to open a command prompt. Well, on the real CompT exam, you're already at the command prompt, but you know that if you're a Windows person, uh, generally you're going to click on the Start button to start uh, to do anything. Now, at a request of uh, some of my students and some of my customers, they wanted a cheat mode. If the cheat mode is turned off, you're going to have to drag and drop everything over to the uh, boxes before you al are allowed to score anything. If you turn that cheat mode on, you're going to go start, you're going to go to all programs. As soon as you start answering or dragging and dropping, the score button is going to light up and you're going to be allowed to see how you've done so far. Now, 
I want to get to the uh, the command prompt. I hit the start button. I click on all programs. I'm going to go to accessories, and then I'm going to click on the command prompt. If I click score, I've got everything correct so far that I've done here. You can drag these commands back out of the way. You can move them to other positions. I'm at the command prompt. Uh, I need to list the contents of the directory, and that's with uh, the dir command. We're allowed to score that. You've also got the option to reveal the correct answer, and the rest of that's pretty easy. We want to we want to get to the next uh, section, the next question here, real quick. Uh, the drag and drop connectors on the left match them to their interfaces on the right. Uh, like I say, I've got many more selections here than you're going to get on the real exam. That's for my benefit and yours. Uh, I created that for my students. I don't want them going in there. Have them go to the internet uh, every time they need to look something up. They're already going to know it. Uh, I've got I've got uh, green mice running all over my uh, office. I've got a purple keyboard. I've got USB ports here, which is uh, they're gray and they're flat and they're four pin. And you can see that I can score any time, and uh, I know how I'm doing so far. Now, CompTIA introduced performance-based questions with the 800 series exams. You can expect to see many more of these questions in the future. Uh, CompTIA realized uh, after all these years that people are simply going to these brain dump sites and they're just memorizing the answers without really even knowing what the answers mean. Uh, so they've started to add more of these performance-based questions and they add more as the time as time goes by. They just don't make them and leave them for the three years. Uh, I, uh, the reports I get back are that they're uh, continually starting to add more of them in. But the uh, the cost of this simulator is nothing compared to failing either of those exams even once. At the time of this recording. Uh, and this is a little, let's see, uh, I believe each exam now costs $188 pass or fail. And you need to pay, you need to take and pass both exams. They cost you $188 pass or fail for as many times as you need to take them. Retakes are $188. It doesn't matter how many times it takes to get it right they're going to charge you $188. That's why it's in your best interest to pass it the first time. Thousands of people all over the world have grabbed a copy of this simulator and have used it to help them pass these expensive exams. People tell me that this simulator is exactly what they're looking for. Uh, don't be one of those people who email me and say, oh man, I wish I'd found this simulator before I failed the exam. Uh, please jump in there and get this and take this and study it before you take the exam. I've had people ma tell me that they have mastered this software in a two-week time span and gone in there and passed their exams. Uh, go to the eBay site. It's an instant download. As soon as I get your PayPal receipt, the links are sent out for the download site. Seriously, you can be studying this exam, whichever one you want to take, the 801, 802. You can be studying for the exam within five minutes. Uh, and remember, the best way to pass the CompTIA a plus exams the first time is to ace the test before you take the test. Good luck. Thanks for viewing.